Well, Mark, it was certainly a frustrating one today, wasn't it? Yeah, disappointing. Um, probably drawing the end was probably a fair result. I don't think we did enough second half to really go on and win the game. Um, it's disappointing because we feel like the way results have gone around us, we could have moved up the table a bit further again. Um, so it's probably two points dropped. You made a blistering start to the match though, and it's, it's, it, it's all the more frustrating because you couldn't quite add on this. Yeah, definitely. We had plenty of chances in the first half as well, so we'd like to take one more of them. Perhaps we would have settled us down more and we could have started to play our game a bit more, which I don't think we really did. We didn't really set into our room like we had done in previous games. One thing that certainly wasn't lacking today was hard work though. Yeah, working hard. I mean, that's something sort of we do without us. You, you do that as you. That's what's expected of you. You work hard first and foremost, and then as the game goes on, your, your flair and stuff starts to come out. The midfield's been a particular highlight this season. It's, it's a really strong sort of duo, and then your wide men, and you've got Ricky Shakes behind you today. In yeah. Front of you today. Shakes in front of us has that different dynamic again. He's, he gets behind the gets on behind the attackers as well, and he'll he'll find pockets. So he brings something different there, and like you say, we've got good wide players as well. When the equaliser goes in, how do you make sure that the rest of the team's head don't, heads don't drop? Uh, it's difficult, especially that late in the game. It was the 81st minute of the score. It's disappointing and it does hurt you a lot. So it's about trying to go on. We, we still had that belief that we can maybe nick another goal, but we didn't really create enough even later on in the game. Plenty more positives to take from this match though, aren't there? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we didn't, we didn't get beat. Uh, we took a draw. We're unbeaten now. I think that's in three. Um, so we're trying to start a run again. Um, I think people are coming into form again. Bruno getting back on the score sheet. We said a second disallowed. Um, we're starting to look more solid at the back as well, although we conceded a goal late on. I don't think we conceded that many opportunities for him. Um, so I think we're, we're moving forward definitely. Just got to uh, try and get some more wins. As you mentioned, you did, you did concede in the end, but for the rest of the match, the defence continues to look very solid. Yeah, definitely. And that's had a lot to do with today with Denton up front. Uh, obviously, it's difficult to play against. He's going to win a lot of the aerial battles. I thought they dealt with him well, read the second balls, it's just that one time we didn't, they score, so just little things like that we've got to tighten up on. Drawing a local rivalry in the cup for next Saturday, how excited are all the lads for this? Uh, well, obviously we're focused on today, but now the focus will move to that, I'm sure Monday the buzz will start coming and we'll start focusing on that game and getting ready and getting prepared. What's the feeling like when you draw local rivals in the cup? Uh, it's definitely, it adds, adds a different dynamic to the game again, doesn't it, there's going to be that. So it'll be like a cup final, I imagine, on, on Saturday. It'll be, uh, be fast and furious, but obviously we're, we'll go there and we want to get the win. So he wasn't your manager here, but he was Luke's old manager. So will he be rallying round to try and get one over on him? Uh, definitely. No not matter who you play, you want to win in the fourth, fourth quarter round of the FA Cup. So it won't matter who we play, we, we need to get the win. So that's the most important thing.